Your interview is the first impression you are giving your potential employer, and that impression starts the moment you walk through the door. First and foremost, dress appropriately. Your employer doesn't need to know that you are on the cutting edge of fashion. You want to show the employer that you know what a professional looks like and that you are one. Guys, wear a suit or at least a shirt and tie. Keep it conservative, no loud colors. Make sure it's clean and ironed. You don't want to give a bad first impression. Ladies, wear a pantsuit or skirt suit. Keep it simple, nothing bright, short, or sheer. Make sure your clothes are clean, ironed, and pressed. Keep your hair simple and neat. A simple low ponytail pulled tight, for example, is perfect. Even if you know the company has a relaxed dress code, the employer still wants to see that you are aware of what a professional looks like and that you are capable of dressing like one. You can never be too overdressed to your first interview. Clean up your online presence. You would be surprised at how many employers now look at your online profiles when making their consideration. This includes your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and any other social media profiles you might have. Make sure that you do not have any compromising, embarrassing, inappropriate, or unprofessional pictures, videos, or posts visible. Time your trip. Do not be late to your interview. Do not even be exactly on time. Aim to arrive at least 10, but no more than 15 minutes early. So, make sure you map out your route beforehand and factor in anything that might happen. If your interview is at 9 a.m., consider the fact that there will be traffic. If you're taking public transportation, factor in the possibility of a late train or bus. Your first impression begins the moment you arrive. It is said that most hiring managers form an opinion within the first 10 minutes of meeting you. So it is important to make a good first impression. Treat everyone with respect. Just because they are not the hiring manager doesn't mean that they do not have any influence in you getting hired. Greet everyone you meet with a smile. The hiring manager might ask the receptionist about your demeanor. If they find out that you were unfriendly with everyone else, but were friendly with them, you will look insincere. Greet everyone with a firm handshake and a smile. Sit patiently if you have to wait and use positive body language. Sit squarely and confidently in your chair. Do not slouch or look too comfortable and stay off your mobile phone. Make sure you practice your answers for the questions that you have prepared for. You do not want to come off as though you are reciting a speech. Practice until your answers start to feel and flow naturally. Know the job description. Most people take this one for granted. It is very important you are aware of every responsibility and qualification of the job. If any of them come up, you do not want to be caught off guard. Research the company. Knowing about the company, their values, history, services, and outreach is to your advantage. Being able to incorporate this information into your answers or using any of the information when asking questions give you a very positive, engaged, and sincere impression. You want to give the appearance that you don't just want a job, you want a career with their company.